Hi guys and welcome back. You are at home with Cardi Golf. This lockdown is still dragging on and I thought to myself, do you know what? I've got to keep thinking of ways to adapt and ways to try and make my golf better while I'm not able to get onto the golf course. Now, I want to introduce you to something that I have a lot of time for. These things here, products called Super Speed Golf. These are Super Speed sticks or clubs. They are designed for you to overspeed train with and make your club head speed faster. And of course, you know that I am passionate about club head speed and I am passionate about you guys hitting the ball as far as you possibly can. For me, one of the single best training aids on the market, arguably the best training aid on the market, and that would explain why I have my PE kit on today and because I'm about to do some training. But I thought to myself, instead of me taking you through a decent super speed training protocol, I'm going to get one of the main men himself, Matt Masters, aka Super Speed Golf Europe, to take us through it. Over to you, Matt. Hi, Matt Masters from Super Speed Golf. Uh, I've been invited today by Joe Cardi to take him through some of the Super Speed training. So I've got the Super Speed clubs here. And Joe, what we're going to do today is take you through the level one training protocol. First club we pick up is the green club, which is 20% lighter than a typical driver. And Joe, you're gonna give me three of the fastest swings you've got on your dominant side, which with you is your right side, I'm pretty sure. And then you're gonna turn and give me three of the fastest swings you've got on your left side. Let's go. Right, I'm on it, green club first. Wow, my God, I know there's gonna be so many of my students absolutely loving watching this after the torture I put them through. That was good, what next, Matt? That was pretty fast, Joe, but I'm sure you can go faster. So we took you from the green into the blue club, which is 10% lighter. Then you went to the red club, which is the only club that is heavier than your normal driver. That's only 5% heavier. You went in there and you did very well. The next thing we do now on the level one is we come back to the start again. I'll be handing you the green club. You're gonna do the same thing again, start with right-sided swings, but on each swing, I want you to really step in and get some ground force on your left side as you come into impact. So step in drills, we're gonna do that on your right side and your left side with the green, the blue, and the red. Let's see what you can do. Right, I've got you. Come on, finally to the red. Right, that's exercise two out of the way. 
Guys, by the way, if you do want any more information on why and how they work, do leave me comments below, do hit me up. I'm more than happy to talk it through with anyone. Like I say, I do believe this is probably the best trading aid on the market at the moment. And with the way the modern game is, probably the most important as well. Matt, what have I got to do now, mate? Nicely done, Joe. You're doing really well there. We've only got three more swings to go. I know you must be really tired now. We're just going to do three more swings with the lightest club as fast as you've got on your dominant side. And it's really useful if you've got some kind of simple measuring device. We've got radar here, and we've also got this lovely new one called the PRGR. Now these are brilliant for tracking your speed. This one's like a mini launch monitor. If you get one of those, then each session you can be testing how fast you're going and hopefully getting some personal bests at times. So come on, Joe, three of the fastest you've got. I haven't actually got my measuring device at the moment, it's at work, um, but I do agree that they are super important for this because I think you need, need to know how you're getting on and that makes it measurable. If I have mine with me, I'll tell you how fast they are, but just assume it's like 150, 160 miles per hour or something. Right, on to my final three, everything I've got now. That felt fast. By the way, I was um, being sarcastic. I'm not really 150, 160 miles per hour. <laughs> Hope no one tuned it, tuned out in between then and me admitting that. But anyway, that was a great workout. Ooh. Just had to grab myself a chair. I'll be going in for a drink in a sec. But that was brilliant. So I just want to reiterate. Okay, if you need any more information on Super Speed Golf, do contact me, comment below, send me an email or a DM on Instagram or Twitter, message me on Facebook, whatever it is. Also, look up Super Speed Golf Europe, that's Matt Masters. All right, really, really helpful guy, and I mean, so much knowledge. So, if you need help, contact me or contact him. I, I don't often recommend products but this one I really do. Okay, so, so just consider it because it's something you can still do at home. And if you can gain 10 miles per hour whilst you're at home, you can gain 30 yards when you get back to the golf course. Matt, just want to say thanks ever so much again for coming on. Really great stuff. Really appreciate it. Speak to you soon. And to all you guys watching, see you tomorrow.